Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This is going to be a career mode and today we're going to try and land a Kerbal on the moon. Okay, so this is going to be the rocket ship that takes us to the moon instead of being an Apollo style mission where these uh, two modules would separate then the command module would rotate around and dock and that's how it would propel it. Uh, we're going for a more Soviet type of a lunar excursion where there will be no docking, only moonwalking, or spacewalking, and uh, oh shit, I forgot to put Bob in because I need him for the science. Un momento. Okay, we're back. Now I have Bob, so we are good to launch. Make sure to always put on your SAS, and let's go. This one's a bit wibbly wobbly. But she'll make it. I've already tested it, just to make sure. Because I've had quite the day of dealing with all of the problems. Kerbal kept crashing on me. These rockets kept fucking up. I really couldn't do much. So, you know, the first part of the video was actually recorded like six hours before I actually got to this point. Anyways, I think it won't be that dramatic. Maybe we'll have to deal with the wibbly wobblies, but uh, that's a maybe at best. I mean, it's acting shaky, but it ain't, it ain't wobbling. So I kind of want to start my gravity turn now. See, there's the wibbly wobbly. Come on, come on. No, no, no. Stay. Good thing to do is always stay within your uh, prograde vector circle because it kind of keeps you like balanced enough so that way you won't fuck everything up. Okay, we're beginning our orbital insertion burn. And as you see, it's got quite a ways to go. Um, but we've got a lot of fuel on this thing because I, I wanted to try and not touch this tank of fuel because that's our lunar uh, transfer stage as well as our lunar orbital stage because because of the design um, it has to do those two functions um, but as you can see I'm quite generous on fuel for my lander um, in theory, I could pull it off with just that center tank alone. Um, as well as my service module is also pretty, pretty, uh, pretty healthy on fuel as well, because it's got enough to return home and back. And it's basically got enough to return home from the moon and still have enough to do is, you know, slow us down as we're entering the atmosphere. I mean, since I've done this run, I've run this before, and like before, like I said, I had a, some issues with you know, the game crash, and I actually got all the way to the moon, landed, done all of that uh, before it crashed. So I know, like, I know for sure that this stage can, you know, take the last part of the orbit, get there, and have fuel remaining. Uh, but it's just, you know, I'd like if I didn't have to do that. But because it, you know, because I have to complete the orbital uh, orbit burn with the uh, lunar excursion stage, that means I won't have any debris flying around. Just uh, the equator of Kerbin around 100,000 uh, or 100 kilometers. Uh, simply because you know, it's it, it'll come back down to the atmosphere, and like with this, it's gonna crash, and the game's gonna just delete it. So. Looks like we're about to make orbit. Watch as our uh, path hugs the Earth. I'm gonna try and I'm 
try and get the apple or periapsis to increase faster than the, uh... Uh, you know what? That's good. Fuck it. Anyway, we are going to make our Luna burn. And I'm going to choose to do it. Let's go ahead and set that as a target. Uh, what's a good spot? I think right about here. Let's add maneuver. So, if you can see, if you see the uh, orbits here, uh, you'll notice it creates a gravity assist type of situation here. Um, I kind of don't want that. I don't want to add energy to my orbit as is. But at the same time, I kind of want to. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Because I don't want to get the gravity assist, but at the same time... Good enough for me. And it's, you know, it takes about a thousand meters a second of Delta V uh, to get to that point. Okay. Alright, so we're about to make the burn here, so I'm going to wait till about uh, 50 seconds until we're due to make said burn. Five, four, three, two, one, go. But the way it works is you want to kind of see the moon over on this side whenever you want it when you make your burn. Um, and depending on how you want to get captured, you may want to have it more towards the horizon or more towards the. Uh, towards, oh, I want to say your radial or your normal, whichever, uh, you know, it depends on which way you rotate it, but you kind of just generally want to have it over here for the best, for best, for the best results. Okay, I guess the Moon Nimino didn't want to cooperate today, but here we've got ourselves an encounter with a periapsis of 129 kilometers, or, yeah, 129 kilometers, roughly. And we still got plenty of fuel left in that tank. Like I said, it's gonna be... It was uh, more than enough for us to perform the last bit of our Kerbal or Kerbin orbital insertion and it should be enough to get us a lunar orbit insertion as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and have it warp for me. Neat feature is this thing will actually warp for you. And it's incredibly terrifying to watch. I always get pissed scared because I've seen it not work many times. <laughs> Alright, so in this situation, the best uh, deal is to burn retrograde. At maneuver. Retrograde this bad boy. And I, I kind of want to go retrograde so that way our orbit is really circular. Okay, so we're about to begin our burn to... Uh, in our lunar orbit, and we've uh, just went ahead and start. Now, the good thing about maneuver nose is that you can actually watch what you're going around. You know, watch, you can watch your ship as it does the maneuver rather than just staring at this all day. Now, I, I stare at this all day, anyways, but that's because I I just I'm not very I don't like to trust things. Yeah, so. Maneuver is pretty much perfect. I think I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit more so that way we're as close to exact as possible. There we go. Alright, so we've made Mooner Orbit. Now I'm going to quick save. Let's hold so you press F5 to make a quick save. And it's always good to make a quick save, and uh, if you look at that, we actually have more than enough fuel in that stage alone just to, uh, going to burn like so. Let's see, we are going to avoid. But the reason I wanted to have Jeb, the main reason I want to have Jeb, is because he can actually uh, 
Well, he can always he can point he can make it so that way he consistently points the ship in one direction. And that is a very valuable feature. Yep, keep that. Just the staging, but this is uh, performing our de orbit burn. And I kind of I'm gonna want to go to around here because I've already been here, and we're just making the most of the stage because uh, if you see if you can see as you see here I've got this uh, probe core on, so that way uh, once I'm done getting Jeb back into the command module, uh, he'll be able to, uh, we'll actually be able to make this into a, either a moon satellite, or some kind of, maybe an interstellar pro, uh, but yeah, so... So let's go ahead and begin our journey downwards, and I'll cut to when we're actually making landing preparations, or, uh, Sorry, when we're actually landing. Alright, so now we're uh, just about eight and a half kilometers above sea level on the moon, and that doesn't say anything about the actual surface of the moon unless you're, in, I guess, in the deepest crater. Um, but, you know, it gives me a rough kind of indication. Uh, I'm basically just right now doing alternating off and on on these burns. What's that falling there? Something's falling. Oh, no, that's our uh, flag from the test mission that I did. And I'm kind of just... Watch this uh, fuel tank crash into the surface. Okay, as you may be well aware of here, we are now making our final landing approach. And I kind of want to stay below. There we go! Perfect! Now I just gotta remember... Well, I'm never gonna remember. Anyways, we are now on the lunar surface. And we'll go ahead and take a mystery goo. Yep. Bingo, that's mine. Alrighty, so let's Eva, let's EVA out of this bitch. And uh, if you press shift and space, you'll uh, let go and you'll actually push back. So let's Eva reports, keep it, take surface sample, keep that. Anyways, plant flag. The Moon Highlands. And this is going to be Moon Landing 2. Many technical difficulties caused issues for brave pilots of the LK 1 module. However, their perseverance made certain that 
Jebediah would return. There we go. And that is landing on the moon. Now, time for some rendezvous. Now we're going to need to rendezvous with this ship right here. So let's go ahead and take off. Okay, we'll see. And then we're going to retract the gear because that's one less thing I want to worry about hitting with. So now I'm going to adjust. I need to stay in map view just so I can adjust the uh, adjust the resulting orbit accordingly. got a lot of fuel. We got a lot of fuel here. And this is definitely more than enough to rendezvous and actually, you know, this is more than enough to land back on the surface like two or three times and, uh, you know, still be able to return. But I'm not like that. And I want to be able to make it back. And I want to be guaranteed certain and I also probably gonna make this into like some kind of solar probe uh, to get science that way so, boom. so now there's that intersect yeah so the main amount of separation there is going to be simply the difference in planes uh, but they do cross over pretty well Ooh, pretty well I'm gonna warp here and if you want like sometimes the map view is pretty exciting oh my Jesus god you scare the sh out of me okay so now that we are we're now going to be in reference of the targets so let's burn. Let's go ahead and uh, remove most of the velocity and re and uh, relative to the target. We're gonna actually try and remove all of it so that way we match orbits. There we go. That's really well lined up. I'm gonna rotate around so that way we can slow down as we get closer. But this is kind of how you do all your uh, orbital intersects or intersections and rendezvous. And you just kind of want to get first. You want to get an encounter, and then you want to bring it in as close as possible. All right. So now we are just outside of the uh, capsule. So we're going to EVA with Jebba here, and so. Press shift and space, and you kick away from the station, or from the uh, capsule, when you jump. So let's go ahead and uh, take the science data. Take, take data. Okay. Oh, oh, Jeb. Careful now, Jeb. Okay, and then we're going to take that. Collect data, remove data, and we're good to transfer over to the LK-1 module, or the command module of the LK-1. K stands for Kerbal, by the way. Oh, 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 all right, so jibby jib jib. It's time for you guys to make your uh, trip home. F. All right, so now that you guys have gathered your fun here today. All right, so we're about to perform the uh, return home burn. So we're gonna go for about just under a minute, a minute. Uh, so 120, so it'd be 60. So 55. 
655. But as you'll see, this has plenty of fuel. I actually uh, ended up wasting Delta V by bringing along so much fuel. But let's uh, let's see how, let's see what uh, Bob sees. Oh yes. Little too much, so let's get this. Oh, did I fuck up? Uh, we're still good! Yes! And the neat thing about having all this fuel is... We can actually begin to slow ourselves down before we actually... The atmosphere starts to slow us down. And let's go ahead and apply the... Uh, Air brakes. These aren't the uh, stock air brakes. These are the B9 Aerospace air brakes. Um, I don't have the stock air brakes unlocked yet, but these air brakes look much nicer. So, but as you see here, we're actually not going to have any issues. I'm going to use the aerodynamics to put us in the front. The antennas because they look badass. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, pull our chutes. Not even gonna worry about autopilot anymore, and we'll disengage the brakes. And then I'll cut back to when we're in the water. Anyways, we are now about to splash down. Normally I wouldn't do any kind of like cut between the splashdown and the uh the entry. However, Kerbal decided to crash. Uh so fortunately I was able to save most of the recording and uh the recording actually was taking place from uh the suborbital trajectory, so worst case scenario I would have just been able replayed it. But no need to waste uh, that much time. Anyways, I mean, I had to replay it just to get the re-entry again. But that is how you take a man or a Kerbal to the moon and back um, using the most ridiculous mods possible. And, yeah. And that even gives you a satellite that's in, a, in orbit of the moon because you just left your landing module there and you could even have it descend and grab some more science if you really wanted to um, or you could do a bunch of jumps There's there was so much fuel left in that thing I, I didn't feel like I should just crash it into the surface I mean I did it with the test one just because I didn't want to have you know shit floating around the moon while I was here anyways this has been Kerbal Space Program my name is Alex uh, like if you liked it comment below let me know how I did, you know, let me know how I could improve, you know, stuff like that. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, as always, have a wonderful day.